Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane Starnes, and today I'm going to show you guys how to apply the leaked over the air 5.5.893 update. Uh, this was leaked to you guys by P3 Droid. This includes an all new kernel and baseband, so this should help with your uh, battery life on the Droid Bionic. It should also help with your call quality and reception. I know a lot of you guys have been having trouble uh, with your 3G and your 4G dropping in and out. This should solve that problem as well as it should solve the problem of the disappearing apps. I know a lot of you guys have been reporting, and I experienced this as well. You install an application from the market, reboot your phone, lo and behold, the application has disappeared. Uh, so it, it includes a whole lot of bug fixes. It's going to make your phone even snappier and quicker. Um, so guys, without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. Okay guys, so in my last video I showed you guys how to do the forever root. Uh, so go into root explorer after you've applied the forever root. Make sure you apply the forever root because if you don't, you will lose you will lose root in this update and you won't be able to root on this update. Uh, so let's see here. Go to system bin Where are we at? Yeah. Okay, and open in text editor. Make sure that you have uh, the forever root commands there at the bottom before you even get started. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is go down to the link in the description and download uh, the over the air 5.5.893 update.zip file. Uh, go ahead and have that on your SD card. Move it to your SD external. Okay, uh, if it's not on the SD external, you won't be able to find it when you boot into recovery. Okay, so from there, you're going to power down the phone. And a lot of people uh, were doing this through the Cheesecake application, and that's a little confusing. This is much simpler, so thank you, P3Droid, for a much simpler way of doing this. So to get into stock recovery... Hold down both the volume up and down. Hold both of those and press the power button. Okay, and then you're going to go down to recovery and select power. I'm sorry, you'll select that by holding both volume up and down. Well, no, that's not where I wanted to be. Go to recovery and press, I'm sorry, press up to select. And that's going to get your recovery. So the volume up selects. Okay, so once you're here, then you will press up and down to bring up the menu. You're going to go to apply update from SD card and select that with a power button. And then you're going to find uh, the over the air update that you uh, download it and put on your card. It's Blur version 5.5.893 xt875.verizon.n.us underscore 2 underscore dot zip. You will select that. At this point in time, I will not select that because I already have it installed. Uh, but you will go ahead and select that. It'll take about 5 to 10 minutes to install. And then uh, you'll reboot your phone. And the initial reboot takes several minutes. Uh... So let's see here. I'm going to go back and reboot system now. The first reboot, like I said, is going to take several minutes to reboot because it has to apply the new system. Um, as soon as this reboots, I will show you guys in the settings where we've been upgraded. And I'll also show you that I still have my root from the forever root that we applied. And it really is that simple and easy. And you have people like P3Droid from Team Black Hat to thank for such an easy update dot zip and hopefully this improves your battery life and your reception it really has improved my reception I have seen a noticeable difference and the main thing is my disappearing apps uh, that bug has gone away for me um, from this 5.5.893 you can still flash ROMs uh, the main one out there that is uh, supporting that .893 is the Theory ROM. 
by Droid Theory. It's Reblurred version 2.0, and that is built on top of this leaked 893. Uh, you can also flash Liberty. You will downgrade your system version, but you will keep the upgraded uh, kernel and base bands if you go to Liberty, which is fine. So you can flash Liberty if you want to, or you can flash the Theory ROM over the top of this. It's not going to hurt anything. So once you reboot, you can go into settings. And go to About Phone. And you'll see that that I am on system version 5.5.893 and I'll show you that I'm rooted and I have my super user and I can use root explorer which, requ which requires see root explorer has been granted super user permission so you're now on 5.5.893 and you are rooted uh, thanks guys for watching check out droidmoderx.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your droid phone you can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E and out of 3. Guys, if I get to 700 followers uh, by Halloween morning, I will be giving away two free DroidX cases to one lucky follower. So uh, follow me on Twitter to become part of that. I'll just pick one random follower. And uh, also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Hopefully I can start doing some giveaways here on the channel. Thanks, guys.